Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Someone is so worried. Three years ago, this started, and now it is taking another turn. Three years ago, this started, and now it is taking another turn. No one knew about their assignments like Jesus. No one was more conscious of their assignments like Jesus. Jesus was so conscious of his assignment that uh, uh, there was a time when his mother went to him and told him, these people did, do not have wine at the wedding feast of Canaan. And Jesus told um, his mom, woman, my time has not come. Jesus was so conscious of his public ministry. As a matter of fact, Jesus was born to die. So the Bible says that, just stay with me, I am driving somewhere, okay? So the, the Bible says Jesus was born and for 30 years, or from the age of 12, nothing was heard of him until he was 30. And at the age of 30, he got baptized, he started his public ministry. But when it came to the hour, the crucial hour for him to fulfill that which he was born to do, it got so intense to a point where he he cried and he said god this is so difficult take it away from me if it's possible he just carried out his assignment for three years and the last i mean the last couple of months he had to die and it was so challenging for him if it could be challenging for God, Jesus, who was God, the Bible says he was 100% God and 100% man. What more of you? Maybe you are going through something that has to do with your assignment and it's so heavy on you. You feel like you can't do, I mean, like a time comes and you feel like this is too much. Lord, I can't do this. You are conscious. You know this has got to do with your assignment. You know this has got to do with why God sent you on the earth. But it gets so tough and you feel like you should just give up. You should run away. You should abandon it and embrace a different life. I have spoken to people who were confident of their call. They were confident with what God wanted them to do. But when the going got tough, they abandoned and ran away. They embraced another life, another destiny altogether. You might be in a haste to judge these people until you understand what they went through. It is not easy to be able to, you know, go through certain things. Um, when you hear about it, you're like, ah, oh, it sounds nice. I want to do this. For example, when Jesus here, you're going to save humanity. And he's like, ah, oh, this is nice. This is a noble thing. I'm going to do it. It sounds noble, but it is not always easy. Your assignment is not always easy because you're going to face persecutions. You're going to have challenges. You're going to have to give up certain things. You're going to have to walk a certain path all by yourself. I just want to encourage you right now. When Jesus got to that part, he cried out to God and said, please, if this is possible, take it away from me. This cup is too heavy for me. But what God did was God strengthened him. So he could go ahead and face, face every persecution. He could go ahead and, 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 and withstand the, the whips and withstand the mockery and withstand the nails that were pierced through his flesh. And guess what? There is never a crown without a story or a cross. It is not unto, the end is not when you die. The end is not when you are downcast. The end is not when you, you, you are demoralized. The end is when you are crowned. The Bible says when Jesus died and resurrected, he went down to hell, defeated Satan, came up to go, went back to heaven. And the Bible says Jesus or his father gave him a name that is above every other name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee bows and every tongue confesses that Jesus is Lord. So your story does not end in you, you being persecuted. Your story does not end in you feeling rejected. Your story does not end end with you fighting those battles your story ends with you being crowned your story ends with you getting the crown i want to pray for you at this point in your life that god will strengthen you to go through this difficult phase 
I know it might not be easy, but I pray that God is going to strengthen you in this season in the mighty name of Jesus. And that you will walk through it triumphantly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that at the end of the day, God is going to hand your crown and your trophy to you. Guess what? That crown starts here on earth. It's not just something you're going to have in heaven. Jesus speaking to his disciples, the, the apostle Peter asked him, what is our reward? We have left family, friends, business, everything to follow you. What is our reward? And Jesus answered and said, everything you left, you are going to have a hundredfold in this one life. Houses, children, wife, business, whatever in this one life. And a little persecution. <laughs> Do you know what the little persecution is? The little persecution is people don't believe the blessings are genuine. People persecute. People do not believe you deserve the things you have. Yes, those are the persecutions that will come when God decides to bless you. But what I am saying is that your efforts will be crowned with success. Everything you have gone through is not wasted. It is going to be crowned with success. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I pray that you will live to see the manifestation of these things in your life. In Jesus mighty name. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. God bless you.